Hey folks, welcome back. So this week we are continuing on with the egg and wagon project here. And the next step of this is to do some milling to cut out some two by fours so that we can start framing in the kind of the box of the chicken coop. All right, well, I was thinking that I got all the milling done yesterday that I needed in order to get a pretty good start on framing the egg and wagon. But then I got to thinking that I probably want some eight footers as well. So we've got seven foots down there. We got six foots here. And then I just loaded on a, uh, an eight foot log on here. We're gonna do a little bit of milling, get some eight footers ready to go here. Once we get that done, then we'll start doing some framing. Alrighty, well we got our eight footers cut, we got the saw out here, we got our nailer pulled out and ready to go. So I do believe we are ready to start putting some framing on the egg and wagon.
All right, so we are jumping ahead a couple days here. And as you can probably tell, it's a little bit nicer weather out. Don't have any snow coming down and it's about 30 or 40 degrees warmer out. Now, before we get too much further along this project, I'm gonna just give you a quick overview of where we're headed with this. Now, for the, the roof on this thing, we're just gonna have a single pitch roof. There's a couple of reasons for this. One is that it should be just a little bit easier to build because you just got one, one slope. You don't have to mess with a ridge cap or any of that sort of stuff. The second reason is that eventually, it's not gonna happen right now, but eventually I am going to set up a water collection system on the coop. And that way any rainfall or snow melt or whatever that's draining off of the roof will collect around. I'll have probably a couple of 55 gallon barrels somewhere in the coop and then that'll drain into there and then that water will feed into the poultry water. So this is going to be our taller side here. Uh, this is about six and a half feet tall and then it'll slope down about a foot over to this side. So this will be the shorter side. Originally, I was actually thinking this would be the short side and this one would be a little taller, but now that I've got this up here and I'm looking at this, this is gonna be, I think, more than plenty tall enough. We're gonna make a little, little change to the plan here and uh, hopefully that'll work out fine. Again, I don't have anything to prop this up with. It's what I did last time. You'd think I would have learned from the first time I did this, but apparently not. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is a little bit of milling. So I got a log up here ready to go. And what this is going to be for 
is the floor of the coupe. And I may have already covered this, but the uh, the floor of the coupe is going to be sort of a, a slat floor to where I'll cut out a bunch of strips that are maybe one by two inch, and then I'll put maybe a half inch gap in between each one of the rows. Uh, that way there's slats or there's, there's gaps in between the slats so that some of the newer can fall through. Alright, well we got a decent little bit of flooring cut yesterday evening and this is all just loose, it's not actually nailed in place, I was just sort of trying to give myself a rough idea of how much I actually had. Now I guess that's maybe, maybe half, probably not quite half but close to it. So I got a couple more logs loaded up on here ready to go, we'll get these sliced and diced, get them cut to length and then hopefully uh, we might get a good start on getting all this stuff nailed in here this afternoon.
Alrighty, so we got all of our little slats all cut up here. We got six foots over there, we got some two foots, and then we got some four foots. Uh, preferably, they all would have been six foot because that would have made it really nice just to go, you know, 6, 12, 18 across through there. But of course, not all of them were good enough to have the full length. But I think we should have enough here to get the whole thing done. I've done a couple here already just to kind of see how it's going to work. And I'm just putting them on here. I'm using this as a spacer in between. I think that's about maybe half an inch or so. I just put that in there, put a nail in uh, each, each one of the beams going across here. And we should end up with a, a fairly evenly spaced floor on here, hopefully. Take me home to rest where the mockingbirds nest and to cry through the green in the spring. Let's -a go back a ways to the old bygone days and the simple time we lived back when. Well, let the pull of the plow bring the sweat from. And that will do it for the floor on the egg and wagon. And I couldn't have, I couldn't have had that work out much better. I've got uh, six four foot and one two foot piece left. So it used up pretty much every last piece that I had. So I didn't have a bunch of extra and I didn't have to cut more. So I couldn't have asked for that to work out any better than it did. Alrighty folks. Well, it seems that I have run out of time for this week for getting stuff done on the chicken coop. So we are gonna cut it right here. Now hopefully next week, uh, I should be getting around to getting our ends uh, framed in and hopefully getting maybe the, uh, the rafters on as well or at least maybe starting milling on those. I was kind of hoping to get that done this week but I uh, just, just didn't have time to get around to that part. But anyways, that is gonna be it for this week's video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.